Hello, Bar McCarthy here from Bold and Break. We're going to explore five basic tips to improve your Redshift renders. Some of these tips also apply to general best practices for other renders. So if you use other renders as well as Redshift, this is definitely worth a watch. Please remember to like and subscribe. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is shut down any programs that may be hardware intensive. So After Effects does use the GPU and CPU and RAM. And that goes for DaVinci and any other compositing programs. So just make sure that you have all other programs shut down when you are going to render. It'll definitely save you a few seconds per frame as the computer can now focus all its resources on your 3D render. The next thing you can do is use the Redshift render tag. I've gone through this a few times in my previous videos, but I still see files where the RS tag is not being used and the subsurface division modifier is being used instead. Cache your animations and convert them to Alembic. This is definitely worth trying to speed up your renders. Alembic files are super light. They are just points of data that are transferable to any 3D program. So why not use it? If you have a complicated sim animation or a complicated matrix animation or any animation, convert it to an Alembic and then render it. Just make sure you have a backup of the original setup because Alembic files are not editable. This one I see overlooked too often. Update your drivers. I've seen people not pay attention to the most up-to-date drivers and they're like, why is this not working. When Redshift doesn't update, it doesn't update based on the latest drivers and hardware used. There are special circumstances though. Always be researching what drivers work best, what version of Redshift you're using. Always be checking your geometry count. If there is a way to optimize your geometry and lessen the amount of geometry in your scene, you can already see the advantage of Nanite in the Unreal Engine and how it optimizes geometry so you can render super fast. Here's a bonus tip, freeze your geometry. So this button up here, allows you to freeze any geometry updates in your scene. This means that Redshift is not checking the geometry when it goes to render in your IPR render window. This is very helpful in optimizing your scene so you can get faster updates when you change things. That is it for now. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments below. Did you know these? And we will be back with more tips on how to speed up your renders and more insight into things you may be missing in Redshift. Thank you for watching and goodbye.